I swear on my life. We're never allowed to just beat Alex Neal, are we? Maybe we should just forfeit the game at the Stadium of Light in January. Well, what can you say about that one? It's kind of a mixture of emotions. Baby steps. We didn't get battered this time of Stoke. Um, I thought we des deserved a point out of that game, personally. But, you know, as long as people are respectful about it in the comments, feel free to disagree all you want. Um, our final third decision-making was poor. I think if we were a bit more clinical up front, we at least draw that game if not win it. But, um, look, I'm trying hard not to mention the referees because apparently you're not allowed to mention them if you get beat. But um, what I would say is the first goal, there's... Uh, I need to look at it back properly to see whether the first goal should have stood, but make your own mind up about that. Apparently it was a blatant handball, so in which case it shouldn't have stood, but referees are shocking in this league. What more is there to say? It's not Stoke's problem. It's not Alex Neal's problem. Why should they complain about it? The second goal is definitely not at the fault of the referee. That second goal was just atrocious defensively. I think the lad who won the header, I need to again, I need to look at this back. What I'm, see, what I've, what I'm saying now is just on the consequence of watching it once, um, but from what I've seen, we didn't make an adequate enough attempt to jump for the header to clear it. Um, and I think it just puts us on the back foot. Again, it's it's why I go on about the fact that defending is just as important as going forward. But, you know, you guys know my thoughts on clean sheets. So I'm not going to bore you too much with it. Other than that, I mean, we've had, we did have the chances. I mean, Barr had the chance in the first half when he should have scored, um, which I was an idiot because I thought he had scored and I was celebrating going mental, mental and then, of course, he hasn't scored it. Um, but across the first half, I thought, without being particularly good, I thought Stoke were the better of the two sides. I thought they showed a bit more aggression. They showed a bit more... Um, Intensity, I guess you I suppose you could say. Once we made the changes from Mowbray, which you could argue came about 20 minutes too late, we did start to force the ascendancy a little bit. But again, like we have, we, you know, Dan Ballard hit the post from a Dak set piece. Um, Aushish and Aushish had a good chance that he blazed over. I think it was. We had opportunities to score, which didn't take any of them. But you know what? I just, it, in a way, this game doesn't annoy me anywhere near as much as the previous lost Alex Neal. Of course, we get beat off him again um, in March because I kind of suspected it would happen because. I think I said I was kind of preparing myself to get beat here, or at least not win, and if we did win, it would be a bonus. Um, big win for Stoke, though. Um, only, play, only person at Stoke I'm remotely happy for is Lyndon Gooch, I suppose, because he's a quality lad. But there you go. We'll wait and see what happens with that one. As for Sunderland moving forward, you know, got, Le got Leicester on Tuesday. Yay, that's going to be great. But knowing us, we'll do the typical Sunderland thing where we've lost today, annoyingly, and then we'll go and win at Leicester. But Dan Neal being back, I think, should be a big thing. Um... The balance of the team I didn't think was too much wrong, apart from up front today. I think we just need to make sure that we get the changes right ahead of ahead of Tuesday and see what happens. And Norwich without Sargent and Barnes next Saturday, I think there's definitely a, a winnable game there, but they'll say the same. You know, it's not going to be an easy one. There's not much more to say. I think I don't really want to talk about this game any more than I have to, but there you go, guys. I love you and leave you. As you guys know, nearly half the people who watch on the analytics can tell me I'm not subscribed. So if you're watching the channel and you're not a regular subscriber, then... Hit the subscribe button if you think I've earned a subscription and like it as well. That'd be really appreciated because I'm trying to get a 5k subs. I'm stuck around 4,700. Give or take a few either way. And yeah, see us on Tuesday where if we do the Sunderland thing and win at Leicester, it'd just be hilarious in every sense of the word. Safe trip to everyone traveling back. See you later.